do. We're live. We're live. Oh my gosh. Exploring with Nug. This isn't the Explore with Nug show. This is the Explore with Nug show. Jeremy's quitting YouTube. No. It's true. Don't ever Jeremy's that. quitting YouTube. <laughs> Those words don't mesh. You lose like 100,000 subscribers. You're like, what'd you do? No. What's going on, everybody? Adam Brown Adventures here. Out with Exploring with Nug. Oh. Ill prepared as always. We're, are, are you? The YouTube announcement's going out. So, I'm going to give it a minute. Let some more people tune in here. I always get people scared. Like, oh, gosh. What are you doing? Now, the title of this video is not clickbait. It's true. It's He's going to walk away and start his music career. All right. I'm going to become a full-time rapper. Yep. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining the live stream. We'll just let everybody tune in. We are live out at the river. You can see behind me. I have a huge announcement, which you might have already seen in the thumbnail. I'm moving in to, with Jeremy. I'm going to be your new roommate. That's the announcement. Candace is going to watch him going, wait. <laughs> I don't understand. So, so we're just getting all our gear and equipment ready because we're gonna be doing some sonar. Have a huge announcement. Well, I have a huge announcement. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, first of all, thanks everybody for joining on this fine. What is it, Friday? Yes, it is Friday. Friday. I'm gonna, yeah. Can't keep track. I cannot keep track of my days anymore they because I don't have a normal schedule anymore because. Hey, what are you gonna do with yourself tomorrow? I guess tomorrow I, uh, you're leaving. Well, the huge announcement is. I quit my job. <laughs> I quit my full-time regular job. To and it was a good job. It, it was. It was a good job. It wasn't like you bag groceries or anything. Okay. That's not a bad job. That's not but. a bad job. No, but that's part of the huge announcement is that I am officially a full-time whatever you want to call it, content creator, YouTuber, uh, exploring with Nugger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever Nug Lifer. What do you call yourself? I'm a I'm a content creator, a videographer, documenter, documenter, documenter. -er. Something like that. It's hard to say you're a YouTuber when you're not. You know, Honestly, so we're so much more. Than that. So much more. Yeah, when we post on, TikToker? we post on the uh, the the F book, <laughs> the uh, the TikTok, the the, the iGrams, and the the YouTubes. Yeah. So everywhere. So many questions. Are they so many questions. questions? Uh, I don't know. I had the phone flipped around the other way. Man. So, not quitting YouTube. Quitting, I just quit my uh, full-time job. I worked there for, I worked for the news station, a news station in South Carolina. It was the best job I ever had. Um, normal job. <laughs> I'd say, wait a minute. I worked there for five years, guys. Five years. And I finally, like YouTube and Facebook, everybody, everything's kind of gotten to the point where it's, I'm, I'm able, thanks to all of y'all supporting us, going out, you know, finally able to support myself on youtube on, on our, all social media platforms which is my dream job so it, i'm so like grateful and thankful seriously i, I don't even know i'm still kind of like still kind of uh what's the word I'm on cloud, nine. cloud yeah i'm still on cloud nine i'm like man is this real it's the first week um first week going full-time youtube so i'm so super excited and seriously thanks to all of you guys watching everybody becoming a member all the memberships help support me like all the donations has been, have been so super supportful. I mean, just even liking and subscribing, liking every video, sharing, like you guys have been awesome. And now I'm able to like do my dream and be able to go out, help search, go out with Jeremy and everyone else and go search and try to help uh, families, you know, find cars. We're also still gonna continue doing fun videos uh, with, with River Treasure, finding treasures, ah. finding stuff people have lost and trying to return those because I really enjoy that too. But we are kind of steering our focus, if you may have noticed the videos, you're know, trying to go search and find vehicles, find, you know, doing more of a sonar, which leads me to my next point of the video, the huge announcement part. It's right in front of me. Me? No, oh, you're, that. You're next to me. You're next to me. Oh, okay. I'm Probably happy that you right. found your dream. Thank you so much. Well, your dream yeah, was Car only fans. So Carrie, uh, my now fiance, I also just got engaged. So I got engaged and then I quit my job. <laughs> Sounds about right. And I'm gonna be buying, trying to buy a house later this year. Gonna buy a house. So a lot of life changes. And not uh, the right order. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping there's not any any future children this year. This year, maybe in like five years. 
But that would be a real life Dang, changing you're, year. You're 28 though. You're 20. You're gonna oh, yeah, be an old man, Dad. You wait five years. If I wait, well, yeah. You waited to when 30? 31 or 32. I got married at 30. Yeah. So hey, look yeah, out. Well, I'm also gonna get married. Actually, married this year. That's, I'm that's so the plan. old. See what happens? What are you eating? Breakfast. Cherry heads. Cherry heads. You're a cherry head. They're a, uh, um, they're related to limited. What did the news station think when uh, you told them you were quitting? <laughs> they understood because I mean I, I was literally I mean <laughs> they threw a party. <laughs> they're like, yeah, he's finally gone. No, I mean I, I feel like I did good work. I was always told I did good work. It, you know, it was the same. I did lots of editing, uh, videography. Kind of, the, I did a lot of the same thing I'm doing now, except I wasn't doing it for myself, you know, or you know, my own footage. I was doing it for others, so it's a great. It was a great job. Seriously, the best people, the best job I ever had. It was an amazing time. Um, but you know, change is good. It was also one of the hardest decisions I had to make because it sounds so crazy, especially in you know this time that we're in with COVID and everything. Like, oh, you're gonna quit a good job, but I don't know. I just wasn't. It wasn't my calling. So I kind of got to this point where, like, there was kind of. Ooh, got spider webs on my face. Don't listen to don't listen to Jeremy. <laughs> He's over there dancing. But check it out, guys. I got a trailer, man. This is awesome. Man. Which is where where are we right now? Charlotte. Charlotte? Okay, but we're in Charlotte right now. Where were we? Where were we? Yeah. Jesus, I don't even remember. Virginia. So I put an announcement that I wanted to get a trailer to be able to help out with our searches. And uh I had a, a subscriber reach out who is shout out to Kristen and Mark. You guys are amazing uh, up in Virginia. We traveled up here and we did a week long trip. Now we're in Charlotte. We're driving back down home, but they were able to help me out with this uh, awesome trailer. Check this thing out guys. It, uh, if I flip the camera around, so it's a 14 foot enclosed trailer. The camera's not very wide. I zoomed in. <clears throat> This thing is amazing. It's a really good condition trailer. And it's 14 foot. It's like 15, I think, or 16 with the front V. I think Jeremy's about to pass out. I think I should troll Garmin. Garmin? Yeah. Like, I'll put out a post, a rule. And the title will be like, sponsored <laughs> by Garmin. And then in the video, will be like, ah, you're gonna, ah, you're gonna, good. you're gonna trick him. Man, you, him, why are you squinting? It's so bright. It is bright. Let's check this out, guys. We have both my boat and Jeremy's. It's pretty. They're pretty much able to fit in here side by side, like, like minus an inch. <laughs> but it works out perfectly. I'm actually. I have big plans for this trailer. I want to be able to have my boat in here all the time, inflated and everything. Like it fits with the motor, so this is awesome. But I'm gonna build like shelves on one side. And actually, build like a lift bed system so I can sleep in here because it's seven feet wide, which. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm like six foot three, so I'm kind of tall. I can actually lay down in here sideways. I'm really excited about that. Um, once again, shout out to Kristen, and Mark, and Virginia. Super nice. They even like they even cooked me and Jeremy dinner while we were up here. Yeah, that was pretty good. So we've been up here all or up in Virginia all week searching for missing people. So those videos will start coming out this weekend and the next couple weeks. You almost said Virginia. Virginia. Like That's Virginia. how you say it in Virginia. What? Virginia. Now I got the trailer. This is gonna be super helpful on our searches and adventures because I'll have a night. I can lock up my stuff. I have a nice, uh, safe, covered place to stay. So I'm really excited about that. So that's the announcement. If you're just tuning in, I did. I quit my normal job. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm one of those people with the sun makes me sneeze. I forget what that's called. Some people are like, that's so weird, but it's a thing. Anyways, yeah, I quit. You're allergic to vitamins. I quit my normal job. I was working at the news station. I was a marketing producer for five years, but now I'm able to pursue YouTube, which still seems crazy to me. Jeremy's been doing it about a year ahead of me. I full time. And I was really hesitant, and but it's finally like, it just didn't really make sense to stay at my other job because I needed more time to go out and search and make, uh, make videos. I make Subway sandwiches. What are you looking for? I don't know. Jeremy's being weird. 
So what are we going to do today? We're going to pull these boat out and we're going to take y'all along, y'all, a little bit for the search. We're going to try to find some vehicles out in this river today. Put that camera down. Let's pull the boat out. All right. Yeah, we'll talk on the boat. So let's set this here. I got a sick family I got to get home to. Do you? So I can get sick. Luckily next week they'll be in school, she'll be at work, and I can stay home sick. <laughs> and I can keep, yeah, I can edit and binge from all the time. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. If you haven't already liked this video, that would be amazing. We're going to pull the boat out now, and hopefully y'all can see this. <laughs> Explore with Nug has taken the live trout. Oh, what is he doing now? <coughs> oh man. Finally, a pretty day. Oh no, he quit his normal job. That's too awesome. Yes, these broken hearted families need answers. Absolutely dusty. <gasps> man. This is my boat. Of course, half won't, but be one of the ones that will. Hi, Carol. Good morning. Happy hunting. Not nice clickbait, says Anthony from the Marine Corps. I quit. Well, he quit his full time job, Anthony. Yeah. Nug is always weird, but that is what we love about him. So, what is he quitting? He quit his full time job that had full benefits and paid pretty good and he was nice and warm in a cubicle and now this is his job pumping air. he's pumping up air and and he's outside in the elements all day most of the time we're not finding anything great job choice <laughs> like we're look we're looking a lot and we're not finding anything i don't know you give it a little squishy squish Diane, everybody loves Nug. Nug for president. <laughs> I don't want to get too full of myself. I already got a big head. Gets any bigger, I'll be able to hold it up like a bobblehead. Oh, are you going to fly your drone on the boat? Man, you're so talented. You just go barefoot. Don't even wear pants. Let's have a fun stream. <laughs> Alarm system is a must. Oh yeah, he's gonna rig up something pretty good on this live stream, or this live stream, dirt, this trailer. Uh, I think he should get like, Simply Safe. <laughs> rig that whole thing up with some Simply Safe gear. Motion sensors and alarm systems and, and uh, whatever else comes with it. That'd be kind of cool. Honestly, like this thing's pretty fortified, so breaking into it's gonna take some tr some. It's gonna take a, a little bit of work. I should sell Nug bobbleheads. I should sell. Let's go see what he's doing over here. I'm gonna stare at this. Oh, put your pants on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh, is that DNR? You're gonna come get us already? The government truck. Might be, but your boat's registered. Temporarily. So I'm still working on that. 199 people. You guys are amazing. Did you just say 199 people? 199 people. Alright, so we got the boat out. Very loud. Oh. Look, that's a new part. What gets on the side now? I only have one hand. Oh. Walk back.
Man, you barely even lifted it. I lift a little it. bit more. All right. I'm rack myself. Are you taking your jacket? I don't think I will. It's a glorious day. Chuck it in there. Here, I'll chuck it for you. You know what his name is, Chuck? Chuck? It is his name. So Sides? Chuck Eugene. So oh, now everybody knows. What are you doing? You can't push it. <laughs> push it. Are you going to break the, the fins? Need them. All right. <laughs> Talk to your people. All right. Well, I'm gonna put the trailer up and park. Yeah, this thing is gonna be. Dude. What? Look at this dead lizard. Oh God! No, is it? No. <laughs> it's a piece of fuzz. It's probably worse. Actually, I'm gonna. Well. Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Oh man. I'm gonna go I'm park. I'm gonna go park the trailer. They're watching you now. Man, what should we talk about? Bad guys will take the entire trailer. Yeah, I'm gonna. I have. I'm gonna put. I'm about to get a security system and everything for my trailer. I told him. I don't want to be it was simply safe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe if they contact me. They might someday. guy just left you guys all by yourself left unsupervised with me fatal error come check out my come check out my gear i'll show you what i got going on over here that puts me up above the rest so to speak so candace made this for me she put all of my sonar gear in a suitcase there's a battery at the bottom wires there's the, the live scope I got a Garmin going. Transducer goes back there. Everything's self-contained. It's pretty cool. And so I just sit there and I just watch the screen and drive and works like a charm. The only thing now is I need a bungee cord to go from there to there. Because this thing likes to tip over every so often. Uh, recap on quitting. He, that guy there, Adam, quit his full-time, nice paying, full benefits, warm job uh, at a news station too, uh, to to pursue this risky lifestyle of making videos. I see that trailer back there. He bought that trailer now, so now he's gonna live in it because he can't afford rent. <laughs> Him and Carrie are gonna make it like a little mini house. She's gonna love it. Happy marriage. She's excited. I mean. Oh yeah, she's excited. All right. A lot of, uh, Is she gonna be? Uh, she does a really good job too. So it's not like we're completely out of it. Well, it was, there's been a lot of discussions before I quit my job. And honestly, it's been like, I've been waiting like almost a year trying to make sure it's the right decision. And do, uh, I hope it is. Cause is Carrie taking name. your last name? I think so. Is Carrie going to be Carrie Brown? Carrie Brown. Carrie Brown. Yeah. It kind of flows. Do you say it's kind of hot? Yeah. Her name? Carrie Brown? Oh, that's you. Oh, okay. Carrie Brown. Adam Brown. What's her last name now? Hers? Lynch? I don't want to give away all her information. Well, I'm not asking for her social. <laughs> uh, her social is one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm seven, so eight. Old, my social is like 22. That's it. How's my hair look? It looks uh, amazing. I mean, you gotta let it flow. Listen, so this is a week after no showers. I don't even want to show you my hair. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I took, shower daily. I, I don't know. What parking lot. I took parking lot showers. Dude, look at that. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Like mine's not terrible. I'm about, to get, I'm about to shave my head. Not really. Shave your, I'm, gonna, no, I'm, not. I'm gonna cut my hair though. I think you should shave your beard and mustache. I want to see what it looks like. The, I did that once. Nah, it's not DNR. This is park. This is park people. All right. I think we're up and running. 
So I'm gonna try to once we get on the boat, I'm gonna start reading y'all's questions. It is kind of chilly, yeah. Is my th yeah here it is. We'll get yelled at. Safety first, people. Also, thanks for uh, whoever became a member earlier. I can't remember who that was. Sorry, I missed the uh, the notification. I saw someone became a member, so thank you so much for that. Jeez Louise. I know, I'm so busy. Oh. Setting everything up and doing all the work. You know, dang. <laughs> all right. I was showing him my rig. Your rig? And then, and then I put the camera here, got my 360 camera. Oh yeah. And it catches er thing. It does. I'm gonna get me one of those Nug bobbleheads. That's what, I'm what about Adam Brown Adventures bobbleheads? I mean, does it even have to be called a bobblehead? Because if I already have a big head, so it'd just be like a nug. It's just an actual it's just a doll. Pr proportionate version of you, doll. <laughs> it's perfectly proportionate. The bobblehead. Somebody used to call me that. Like, oh, are you a bobblehead? Oh, man. Unmarked car coming up from Oh, we're screwed. Oh, all right. Let's it's go, man. Let's fly my drone. Oh, no. I forgot. I do not disturb me. I missed a very important phone call. Man, you guys are amazing. We got almost 300 people in this live stream. Oh, I got my verification code from DKI. Oh, nice. Whoops. That means now they, they, they have my number. So now if like a drone crashes on the airport, they can Oh, they'll, they'll, yeah, they know it's you. But they're serial numbers, right? It's like they can match them up. No, it's like that's on me. They'll know it's you. All right, man, let's go. Hey, Get pretty. Man, your sonar's about to fall out. No, it's not. It's a little top heavy. You're top heavy. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. That's that's not nice, Jeremy. Oh, that was a that was a fancy one. That was mean. I'm gonna get public ashamed now. Shame that man. You got gas, right? Nope. No gas. Yeah, I'm not quitting diving. Yeah, I got a little, I got a little gas. But I quit my job, which still feels crazy to say. I'm seriously like on cloud nine still. It, uh, it, it, I don't really know. I can't really go into all the details, but it's kind of like my calling. I felt like I was kind of led and the time was right. Everything was kind of made sense to be able to at least go for YouTube, try for at least like a year and you know see where things go from there i can always go and get another job um if i need to but youtube's been going really well everybody supporting me has been like unreal like it still feels weird to to say like i'm a youtuber or content creator i don't know there's a big stick in the water right there you better watch out for a tank and a splash you only have one tank but you don't have any more in your in your gas tank so All right, well, out. so once we run out, back. we might need somebody in the Charlotte area with a boat to come get us. Don't call the fire department. <laughs> nobody, nobody call the fire department. We're fine. We have uh, paddles, and we can swim. We have our life jackets on. I always have such a tough time starting this thing. Right? It's not starting? I haven't tried yet. All right, we're going to see how many pulls it takes for Jeremy to... See, because I'm always afraid I'm going to hit my elbow, so I was like... Right, it sounds like an excuse. Dang, mine starts in like one. I mean, I could deal with four. All right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, what happened? Is the th is the top thing unscrewed? Yeah. Your gas is on. It's past that new car stage. Now it's just gonna start giving me problems. <laughs> Ooh, it's starting to sound like your old motor. Jake Miller, thanks for the $2. Jeremy did the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance in the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, he did. With the two arms on like this. Oh, I don't... I... You haven't watched Dragon Ball Z! I mean, I've seen one or two of them. Well, I get the reference. All right, so we're at a walk I'm more of an anime. I'm more of a... Uh, I'm a little nerdy. I watch One Piece. Such a nerd. Trigun. 
These are anime shows. Nerd. Uh, what else? There's so many. But I'm a, I'm a huge One Piece fan. If any of you all watch anime. One Piece? Is that what also really any cartoon. Yeah, it's a it's a really popular anime. Oh, is it? And there's like so many episodes. Which way is the current run? So, all right, we're on the river now. There's a couple bridges. How deep is it right now? What are we looking at? Uh, probably like five feet. Five feet? Yeah, I think there'll be no cars here. But... There might be. You know, if we do need to dive too, the water is... It's better than... It's better than chocolate milk. There would probably be like 10 inches of visibility. It would be cool and they'd be like, oh, there's like three cars right here. That would be nice. Like, I don't want to ruin any of our other searching, but I'll just say we've had a tough time lately <laughs> finding vehicles in Virginia. Yeah, it hasn't been pleasant. We're in North Carolina now, so maybe it'll be better. Where's the other boat ramps? That way or like? Oh, I don't know. Not I can't look it up either while I'm streaming, though. Well, we'll just hang out. Um, so we're. Right, there is a missing person, apparently, that we were searching for in Virginia, but we found new information that they actually live in Charlotte, and Charlotte was on the way home anyway, so we figured we'd search this river. So we're kind of just doing a generic search, but keeping this person in mind. And I don't want to, like, give all the information out yet, but y'all see, I think this will be, this will be next week video, <laughs> most likely. Yeah, no, I'm not quitting diving, if anybody's wondering. I quit my normal day job. I was, I've been working basically two jobs for five years. I don't know, but I've been doing YouTube. I've been trying to make YouTube work really, really hard the past, like, two years. And it has paid off. I've been basically, my normal schedule is go to my, you know, nine, nine to five, nine to six job, working for the news station is what I was doing. Then as soon as I get home, I have, like, two hours to hang out with Carrie. Then she would go to sleep, and then I'd stay up till 3 a.m. every night editing my YouTube videos. And then on the weekends, I would leave almost every weekend and film the video. So it's been it's been a lot, honestly, guys. She's a hard charger, sticking up. Car up you. Carrie, <laughs> Carrie, and I, I got engaged last week, last Sunday. I can't believe she said yes. Yeah, she said yes. <laughs> she has put up with me through a lot of being away, diving, coming home, smelling like the river. So she is amazing. Which is amazing. Amazing smell. Yeah. Also, Candace. What? My wife's in there? No. Oh, I don't know. She might be. She's at the dog with the kids. Wait, she's she sick. put. Everybody's yeah, sick. Yeah, but she's put up with you for a while too, huh? Yeah, but now she's making the dang schedule. <laughs> yeah, now Candace is like your manager. Yeah. He's got us going to Florida when you get back. Oh yeah. So I guess I can announce it now. I'm oh, gonna God. be. What are you announcing? What <laughs> else? I, I'm actually quitting YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop I'm quitting. I'm just quit. I'm going. I'm quitting all my jobs. Don't play with my emotions. So I got an exciting. I think I'm gonna try to make a video of it. Me and Carrie are going on a van life. What is it called? Outlanding, outland or? Well, the the van is called Outlander. Outlanding. I don't know Out, you, it's outlanding, right? I, I can't remember. Cross country exploration. I think it's outlanding. Y'all, y'all will correct me in the chat. But um, yeah, get we're gonna be going to like Salt Lake City and hitting all the national parks. We uh, rented a, a camper van thing, and so I'm gonna try to make a video out of that. It'll be, it probably won't do very well on YouTube, but I know y'all that like watching us will enjoy it. All the, seeing some of the scenic routes and uh, kind of me and Carrie's adventure. What she kind did, of van did you rent? I don't know. It's kind of like. Is it like mine, but all decked out? No, it's not tall. It's like the regular long. You can sleep in like it. Like creeper vans with a bed in the back. Also, oh, you can sleep in. It. Yeah, it has a bed in the back. Sweet. So. She's never done that. I've been sleeping in my truck for, you know, a week with no problem. This one will actually be a bed. You slept in it last night. Yeah, I did. It was like 40 degrees last night. It got kind of cold. I was fine. I woke up last night. My feet were cold, but everything else was fine. I slept like a champ. A little chilly. I was in my sleep bag, though, so I was fine. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that'll be fun, guys. Um, I'm gonna try my best to make a video out of that. Hopefully we see some really cool things. I don't think we're gonna be finding anything besides cool views. But if you guys have any questions, leave them in the chat. I'll try to answer them. Keep the video on during your travels. You never know if another- Live stream the entire- Oh yeah. 
I mean, we haven't solved the case. Oh, I see something in the water, dude. I see that. Is that a safe? Or it might be part of an old bridge. It kind of looks like a safe to me, though. Definitely a... Uh... It is a square object, but it looks like concrete. Right. Are you seeing anything? The old bridge has destroyed... Oh, the, okay, that's part of the old bridge, then. <laughs> like, we're literally right underneath the old bridge. It looks like it's 13 feet low. Yeah, that's what that is. Um, did the news station I worked at report ever report on any of your fines? <laughs> yeah, none of our, none of our. Got sued for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not public knowledge, but I guess it's fine Whoops. now. We don't work there. So. Um, none of our like dive river treasure, but a few months back, we were searching for a missing person case in the area, and they did do a, a little mini story. We didn't find anybody. Um, <clears throat> and long story short, we, one of the ponds we checked at. Um, one of the residents was not too happy that we got in the pond for five minutes. He's mad at you. So that's all good now, but uh, I did ask permission. One of the residents gave me, said he was, it was fine. It was someone else I got upset. Um, hey, what's up, Georgia River Boys in the chat? Where's that guy? What's going on, man? He's kind of crazy. He likes to play chicken with uh, wafers. Oh, yeah, he likes to stick his head up while they're flying by. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, so one, once again, I did not, I'm not quitting YouTube. The opposite, in fact, I'm going, I'm full time now. Should I? Let's make a poll. Should I? No. Um, but you know, basically, I'm, I'm giving YouTube a chance. It's, it's finally got to the point where I can do it full time. And I have kind of a guaranteed year. I've kind of been saving up money and stuff to try to see if I can make it work. And it seems like it, it is going to work. As long as I continue going, and I couldn't do it without y'all support. Seriously, I can't stress that enough. I, like it's, it's not me at all. It's all of y'all, liking, commenting, like all the donations, all everybody that becomes a member helps out a lot. You said all y'all, all y'all. Listen, I'm I'm from Texas, and I was raised in South Carolina, so I don't know what's going on with my my accent, my all dialect. All y'all, I. <laughs> Man. So I mean, yeah, but dude, seriously, quitting my job was like terrifying. It was so terrifying and stressful because like I've become like such good friends with the people I work with and it's when you're so invested in something for five years it's it's like dang that's a big life change. Well that way when YouTube collapses you guys go back. Well and I and you, yeah, you come well, crawling back like I'm sorry hopefully guys. Hopefully YouTube doesn't collapse but I have just a joke. I have the experience you know I didn't leave on I didn't leave on a bad note. You walk um, in like April Fools. So I can always like find another job. I might not be able to work at the same place. I don't know if I would want to, but it's a great job, but it's kind of like, I want. I would want to try something a little different, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I just kind of, the timing was right. Everything fell into place. And so now I'm full-time YouTube, quit my day job and- uh, I'm gonna take my coat off. Oh my gosh. Did you leave it? Did you bring it? Yeah, I did. It was so warm, like the second I took it off. I, I, like, I, you, want, you want to wear my coat, Jeremy? No. It smells like me. So, we're not seeing anything, huh? Well, we're at the middle. There's nothing out here. Yeah, you need to go along the bank, man. What are you doing? It's shallow, like five feet or Is it? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just cruising around. The cars have uh, drifted pretty far, we found. So, it's possible it could come out here. I just want to find something. I'm tired of finding boats. I'm going to go all the way. Yeah, all the way around. I don't know. I mean, that's, I bet that's so shallow there. It There's probably is. There's up there. Is there? Let's go it's say hi to the cop. Yeah, hit that like button. What's going on, everybody? So yeah, we're searching. And oh, Abnormal the Clown wants a, a blue wrench. I thought he already had one. Oh, he has one on the other channel. Oh, there. All right, yeah, I'll give you a blue wrench, man. If, if, if you be nice to everybody. Hey, look, it's, 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 some, it's more of those hawks. Osprey, sir? Osprey, I think, well, I think they're Osprey. I don't know. Do they make those things just so they can mess uh, I don't know. Pretty convenient. It kind of looks like they do. The camera's gonna be way too shaky to film that. What are we looking for now? So we're just looking. We're kind of looking for anything. We're just kind of clear this river. Uh, there is a missing person that apparently we were looking for in Virginia, 
and we cleared all the rivers. That's where he was last uh, sighted. So we cleared the most obvious spots up there, and then we found out after that he actually lived in North Carolina. So now we're down here checking probably the most obvious river here. And it's also on the way home, so we figured we needed something to do today. Also, I'm not, I usually have a, a normal uh, episode come out today, but that's why I'm doing this live stream. Because I was not able to edit one, but I'll have one for Sunday for y'all. And then I'll be gone for a week on my road trip, and hopefully... <laughs> I have a video for next Friday and Sunday. It's, it's a lot of work, seriously, but it's so much fun being able to drive around, travel, search, scuba dive, all of it. Like, I'm, I'm seriously, I can't express the thanks, guys. The only bad part about what I'm doing is Whoa. this guy over here. Stop moving around. I'm gonna fall out of the boat. Oh. You're gonna shake, shake my battery loose again. Be no gatastic t-shirt idea? Hmm. I like it. I think we'll do it. You want to show them what we're looking at? What are we looking at? The sonar? There's nothing. Well, there's something. There's sand and it's seven feet deep. Man. But we're literally next to nothing, so I'm not surprised. But we're cruising up here to where there's more boats and access points. You never know. Maybe 1990. They dumped. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, hey, they, hey, Jeremy. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to be serious. Are you? No, not really. But, like... They like they dumped a car back in the day when the stuff was ever built. Yeah. There's a car been sitting there ever since. There's always new development and potential for cars to be dumped before the new development happens, so. I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna find something. I, like, I, I don't know, I'm on a motorcycle kick. Like, we found one in Atlanta. And the one we pulled out. Yeah. You wanna find another one? Yeah. I don't know, something about motorcycle. I'm more of a motorcycle guy anyways. I have two motorcycles. I don't, I don't really ride them as much. Really? So I think it might be South Carolina. And I think we know where a frame is. We also found a frame, uh, me and Britton found a frame in Florida that we pulled up. You guys might've seen that video. There's a motorcycle at uh, Pace's Ferry. You see that? I think there's two of them there. A frame? Oh yeah. There's a whole motorcycle, but it's been there for a long time. So pulling that up, you piece And I don't know, that's another thing. There's no way to get well, you have a winch. You have a winch. Oh, Jeremy hasn't showed off his big. Uh, what would you call it? What you drive now? It's my van, man. His super van. He's got a big winch on the thing now, so he thinks he can pull a car out with his car. I don't. Th I think they just cancel each other out. Nah. It's gonna rip your winch off. <laughs> no, well, no, it's it's made. It's made like it's wrapped around the unibody instead of just attached to the front like bolts. Is it? Like it's clamped and squished onto the unibody. So like. It's made for the ProMaster. Like they've tested this thing, so I'll okay. I'll, I'll see what happens. Yeah, do a test. See if you can see what you can pull out. I want to do a we'll do a snatch block and like run it back. Like it's like eighteen thousand pounds of pull right there. Oh yeah. You can pull a car out. Oh, well, we gotta float it. I think you pull a car out easy if you got it floated and got it to the boat ramp. Pull it up the boat ramp. If it's floating, it you'll have no problem pulling it. In, but it ain't gonna pull it through the mud. These tow truck can't even pull it through mud. So. <laughs> Yeah, they did. Oh my gosh, uh, are we coming to Florida anytime soon? Uh, I think we are, but I don't know where or how long. Two, three weeks. Candace has it down for three days. Crystal River near Clearwater. Weekdays, right? Probably. Weekends are good for me. So that. The, well, so the the deal with Carrie is she's cool with what I'm doing. You should bring her. Being full time, I would be pretty. Yeah, we can't have fun. That's it. If I get my, my trailer good. Hell, you can't get a hotel room or something. I have my trailer. Still, she don't want to say no damn trailer. Are we not going to need the boats? We will, but I don't think we can use the motors. We have to get a trolley motor and paddle over there. Essentially, that's just for all our gear. We're going to go to the location, drop an anchor, and that's our headquarters. And then we'll like, we're, well, we're, we're going to have to suit up in the boat and then go off the floor. You were going to sleep in your van, right? I, you, I can, you, <laughs> I'll sleep with Tom. I'm going to try to get my bed, at least a jerry-rigged bed in my camper by then. Who is this Jerry that rigs? <laughs> Jerry, who has wondered that? Oh, there's a boat ramp over here. Look at that. Um, yeah, so what I was saying, one of the reasons I was able to go full-time YouTube is because Carrie, she's a, she is a pharmacist. She's a doctor. She's a drug pusher. <laughs> but she was cool with me being doing YouTube full-time because as long as I'm kind of home for the weekends when she's off, but during the week, 
she pretty much comes home and she pretty much goes to sleep as soon as she gets home almost so she's cool with me being gone weekdays which is cool with me so all right so what else you got going on there you need to fasten the van to something i got big blocks that go to the tires that yeah dude but that the, the chocks won't that one in uh, Oak Ridge was moving, and that thing weighs. It had things like sticking down in the concrete, whatever the back part is. Yeah, but he also had and he was still being dragged. Well, well yeah, he's maxing it out. By one stomp underwater. I'm not gonna. Plus, it was hung up. Like, I'll pull, but if it starts doing weird stuff, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna risk my van. But. <laughs> it's just your van is just gonna flip upside down. The biggest test is like flipping that cutlass. Dude, over. you you want to tell me what you did yesterday? In the, in, in the Mexican parking lot? The Mexican food place? Oh, oh. Well, I was backing up into a parking spot. And I wasn't even thinking about what, what I was doing. And uh, I forgot that I had, like, the cage thing on the back of the hitch. What's the, like, storage container thing? I have my winch, not my winch, but my uh, generator. And I totally forgot to back to right into a concrete barrier. Like a wall? Hard. And Man. I thought for sure I destroyed the generator. But it took it. It took it? Not a bend. Oh, that's my story. How are you doing? Yeah, there's a big mark on the back of that thing. You backed into that wall. Oh, just a little bit of concrete. I did mess the wall. I knocked some chunks off the top. <laughs> what time is it where we are? It is 10.32. 10.32. Wonder how I knew that? So I got it right in front of me. Do you? Question, Jeremy. Where, what are you going to do while Adam is on vacation next week? Uh, Alatoona Lake. There, There's a... a, a Something could be missing in that lake. It was in a barrel, foul play. And it's shot in the dark, so I'm gonna do a lot of sonar, probably go live, <coughs> searching for that barrel. And if I, I've seen barrels before on sonar, but they're really hard, depending on how deep it is, to see it without being, it could just be a rock. But uh, I'm gonna try that. Eh, I might go diving, depending on how the river is. I just don't know, I won't be lost. I won't have Adam, I have to call up Britain. See what we can do. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's six feet. Six feet. Muddy River Distillery. D dessert time. Do you think it's made by the river water? Probably. The beers. That's the secret flavor. Oh. <laughs> Ebola. Ebola. <laughs> Hey Adam, how, hey Nug, how y'all doing? We're doing great. Hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're just looking for anything at this point. Anything in the water that you see, either metal, car shaped, motorcycle shaped. really good at this. You're getting, getting really good at really good right at spots, finding so. nothing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we're finding where we know where things aren't. We know where cars aren't. We know where places are clear, Sometimes which is, are. is, I'd rather find something, but it's still. We're getting good at uh, clearing uh, areas. Boats, so. Tires find a tire all day <laughs> yeah there's tons you know the amount of tires i don't know what people back in the day or maybe they still are dumping them in i oh guess God, I how much do they charge to dispose of tires isn't it a lot that's why companies dump them in the woods and the water oh yeah it costs money like that's why I have, like some of these tire shops they don't do it does anybody in the chat know how much it is to dispose of a tire i thought you know the dumps local dumps could take them but is it maybe a limited amount or something they take them but they charge you for it and then really? essentially, you just, it's better. I've never paid. They charge you, well, they do where I live, but they charge you more, and then they still bury them. So they're not getting recycled. They still bury them in the, yeah. in the landfill. So it's, they're, not, they're not saving anything. They're just, they're, it's the same old thing. I've looked into it. I literally have looked into starting a tire business, tire uh, recycling business, just, oh, yeah. just because. And uh, it's not, it's, I mean, business wise, it's not worth it. Humanitarian wise, it'd be really good. But, we get a big pontoon boat or a barge and just like... Well, it's dude. like the woods with that one spot. Yeah. There's it, so, it would take a all, whole acre. It would take least. a team of people all day. Yeah, there's, there's hundreds of thousands. Oh, God, I couldn't believe that. Tires. The tires are like, ugh. And they break down underwater and you just get this black sludge on you. It's so nasty. Um, so recap, if you guys are just tuning in, I, I just quit my normal job I've been working for five years to go full-time YouTube. Uh... So that's pretty much 
it. The, announce, it. the announcement is I got a trailer if you watch the beginning of this live stream uh, after I end it. Finally got an enclosed trailer that can fit both of our boats. I'm going to be, I guess I'm, I might make a video showing me building it out. I'm going to put a bed in there, like a lift bed and some shelves and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, are you? I am. It makes moving, searching so much easier when you don't have to fill up and inflate the boat every single time. It's almost making us too lazy. I ain't lazy. <laughs> You're lazy. So yeah, we're doing great out here. It's a beautiful day. There was one day last, this past week, it was pouring rain. That was not fun. <coughs> no, that was horrible, but it stopped. We use old tires to grow potatoes. No. Oh, like fill them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One's almost dead. Hopefully mine's not almost dead. You're gonna send some more to me? What, tires? <laughs> start pulling out of the start mailing them to people. That's merchandise. Oh yeah, also shout out to uh, Centurion Magnetics. They sent me this t-shirt, it's pretty cool. Oh, Centurion, huh? Um, I have, actually I need to take a picture of this for them. If you guys are into magnet fishing, go check them out. You can use my code ADAM10 for 10% off. <laughs> Man, you're just, a, you're just a selling magnet. I mean, it does help me out. I do get like a small commission. So when people want to support me and also want to get a great magnet, they can buy using my code to help me out. Yeah. Look at all that junk. Ooh, there's some bad graffiti up there. It must be where all the cool kids hang out at night. Yeah, this would be a cool place to dive at probably. There's probably some guns and stuff under here. I mean, pew pews. Pew pews. They made some boobies up there. Oh, did they? <coughs> pew pew. Pew pew. surprising how much like old bridges oh yeah so there's like old bridge pillars there you can see oh okay yeah like, they still why do die. they only tear down a couple of them and yeah, still leave get some them out of the way i kind of want to go stand on that oh dang let's go check that out do you guys want to see a sunken boat so oh gosh so, Glenda oh no. said, did AT&T ever hook you up with an unlimited plan? No. Let's talk about that. I don't, oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, first of all, the first person, <laughs> basically I had, I've been using my work phone for five years. I haven't been using my personal phone. Now that I quit my job and went full-time YouTube, I need to go back to my old personal phone. So I, I bought this new iPhone, but I need unlimited data because I use a lot of data, right? Is it really shallow right here in the middle? Uh, 16 feet. Oh. So I, I called up AT&T to switch my plan to Unlimited to a business account. Basically, I was on the phone for two hours trying to get an, an Unlimited plan, and like they couldn't do it. They couldn't figure out how to switch it over. And, two hours, and then I finally got transferred to someone I could not literally understand anything they were saying, who then transferred me to someone. <laughs> they transferred me to a personal number. Some dude who was like, hello? It's like, this is, this is Joe. This is, who, who, do you think this is AT&T? I'm like, AT&T transferred me to you guys, to you. So he's like, oh my gosh, they keep doing this. So yeah. <laughs> That's so bad. Two who hours, I still don't have an unlimited plan. Oh, but I, I, made, I made a new friend named Joe. We had a nice good chat about how much AT&T is. But she hates AT&T. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody on here works for AT&T, please help me out. <laughs> Because I need to keep I need to keep my number. All right, so we're out here searching for vehicles, anything we can. Get some sun. Got Jeremy over here, looking all tan. We should collect this drift and make like we should whittle wood. Whittle sculptures. Yeah, I'll whittle a an uh, um, you know what is that thing? An, uh, an Emmy. An Emmy? Yeah, I'll be a river you Emmy. You whittle yourself an award. So we got. myself an <laughs> We got Z Cook Z in the chat. What's up, man? Heard that guy. He flies helicopters or something. He flies, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Question, what else can you find with a sonar besides cars? I mean, anything, anything big. I mean, it's made for finding fish. So, I mean, technically, fish. But uh, structures, bigger stuff pops out. Uh, anything, really. I mean, smaller items, like, it's, it's very challenging to, like, find a missing person. It can be done, but you just got to get the right shot. Uh, you can see tree stumps. You can see bluegill nests. Like right here on the left side, we just passed a bunch of uh, their holes, like craters. Can you show them? And uh, you can barely see them. You can see these things right here. And right in the center of that one, that little dot, that's a fish. And he's protecting his nest. And that's usually a good place to fish in the summertime because bass will be around here eating their eggs when they spawn. There's a tire. No shortage of tires. No shortage of tires. No. Nope. Shout out to all my fans in Denmark. Did you say shout out to OnlyFans? To all my fans. Oh, my bad. Dude, we got a boat for you on the cheap. Dude, there is a sunken boat. This one's not completely, it's only half sunk. Holy smokes, this thing's pretty. My question is why they leave it here. I mean, they just tow it off, you know, get, I don't know. What kind of boat is that? A, a, a junker. <laughs> it almost looks like a pontoon boat, but it's not. back of it looks like a pontoon boat. The motor's still on the thing. Damn, look at that, that's pretty. Start that baby up. Ride it out of here. Is there, hey, there's a sonar, there's a, there's a new Garmin sonar on there. <laughs> oh, is there? Yeah. I don't think it's new. <laughs> I, it, it's not a pontoon boat, but it has the walls like a pontoon boat, which I haven't seen on a normal boat. I guess they do that. It's a very old, old boat looks like. I, I can't see the name. Something R-A-E. R-A-E-T or something? Craft? Is it a Chris Craft? Something Craft. You get too close. I'm gonna bite my face off. Man, how do the seats always get torn up like that? Yeah. There's a barrel over there. What? Oh, I mean a bucket. What's Not a barrel. What's in that bucket? <laughs> All right. Where do we go? Like, well, you didn't check the first bridge farther up river yet. So we go up there, cruise that way with the wind. Be a little bit quieter and warmer. I love these old bridge sites. Like these are the places I'd like to dive, like the old pillars, because that bridge is even older than this one. And I would say, like, that's 150 years old. Guaranteed 100% there's mason jars and bottles out there right there. Treasure. 100% guarantee. Jonathan Brown. Wait, is that, uh, is this my brother Jonathan Brown or a different Jonathan Brown? Oh, man. He's mad at you. He said, mods removed my comment, but Nug was featured in another video I saw randomly. I've been featured, you know. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> You're a bigger deal. Okay, man. yeah, it's John. Okay. What's up, man? I'll make you a mod because I can I Does he live like here? Uh well we're so we're in we're in Charlotte right now. Alright now you're a mod, John, so just <laughs> Don't put anything dirty in the chat. <laughs> like sweet come on. <laughs> beep, beep. F this, F that. <laughs> yeah, this guy Jeremy's been like featured all over the world in his his one video, which was really cool. I mean finding the two missing teenagers. Yeah, I've, for I've, some I've, reason that went that video like AWP's found a ton, but like yours for some reason went like it seems like more viral than a lot of the cases for some reason. Do you have any idea why? Mm -mm. It was just the luck of the draw. Like one Inside Edition did it and then everybody picked up on it and it was the right day and they just ran with it. But the second Inside Edition dropped their video, it was almost instant how everything just changed. Yeah. Like the numbers just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was like, whoa, something. I was actually nervous. I was like, this seems like, <laughs> seems like I'm doing something wrong. Like I'm, I, this, is, this is out of control. But, yeah. Maybe it's because you found two people and you usually people, Two people aren't usually found. Well, I mean, hell, Jared never found that, that lady and her kids and pregnant and all that stuff. I mean, gosh. I like, I'm really surprised that didn't oh, go yeah, she, he did. Oh, yeah, she did. Like, was, it got a lot of attention. That was but, crazy. Like, it definitely wasn't a worldwide thing. Yeah, it'd be one thing to find a missing person, but find a missing family? Like, oh, that's just devastating. A kid.
kid. Finding a kid too would be hard. You know, like a child is missing and you find him in the river. Oh, that that that, that would, would probably be, haunt me for a while. That would be rough. But you know, uh, that one spot we went river river treasure diving, where y'all did the next day, a, a baby was uh, found like floating down the river right there, right? Yeah, some lady dumped a baby in the river. She, what's funny is Britain was out there the day before swimming. Yeah. Chances are, the the baby was already out there. Possibly. It was, it was just hung up or it, just, it hadn't floated yet. Just horrible. Yeah, that's that's terrible. And like they was doing training the next day and the fire department was out there and they just happened to look over their shoulder like, uh, and they just saw it floating by and they're like, uh, change your plans. <laughs> I mean, it's really sad, but that's one of the main reasons we're out checking the rivers all the time because the rivers, the rivers are easy to hide or get rid of things. Um, a lot of times, and you know, we try to do our part and use our equipment, use the sonar to find things, find people. And that's what we're trying to do more so now. That, that's like, since I'm full-time YouTube now, I'm gonna be going out like almost every week, searching more water, trying to find vehicles. Teaming up with Jeremy, exploring with Nog. I mean, you think that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna be going out by myself a lot too, um, to local rivers here. Cause Jeremy's a little, you know, he's in Atlanta. I'm gonna be trying to cover different spots, maybe farther, like going back to Virginia or going back to North Carolina. A little wishy washy. So, let's see. I just wanted to warm up. I am so tired. Like now it's warming up, but it's still not. Oh, let's jump in the water warm up. You know, now it's just like, yeah. <gasps> let's see. It's 55. It's a little cold, 55 well, okay. degrees. Yeah. Yesterday, the water was at 62, which wasn't as bad. Do you still. use other sonar like Aqua Eye? I don't have one yet. Aqua Eye is a, uh, that's a five thousand dollar piece of equipment, and I've been talking to him a lot. You're trying to uh, work out a business agreement, and uh, we're in the process. But as of right now, I don't, I don't have one. So. I think, and they reached out to me too before. I think we're gonna eventually get one, regardless. But we're trying to get them to. That just seems like something that'd be to, good to have to sponsor place. us because, like, if you guys don't know, Aqua Eye is a sonar that detects human bodies. Apparently, a, a, a human body has a specific echo when the, the sonar sound is bouncing off. So it can tell that that's a, a person rather than a fish. Or, you know, it can also detect cars too. <coughs> it does have its limits though. Like it can't see out of water. Like obviously if there's a, if it doesn't see through dirt. Uh, and uh, if there is a school of fish in between you and the body, it'll, uh, it'll mess it up too. But essentially they have, they worked it so it, it can tell the difference between hard stuff and squishy stuff. So, it looks for the squishy stuff, and it'll give it'll it'll give you an idea, and you swim to that location. Yeah. And I think it should be good to have. Let's say we're out here, and especially coming in warmer season, everybody's gonna be swimming, and all of a sudden a kid falls off a boat, and we're in the right place where you can find him, and there's a chance we can save him. You know, kid, you know, you could be resuscitated. So I think it'd be fun to have. There's four cases of just missing persons alone that that tool would have been ideal on. But there's uh, so many more of just people missing than without them with cars. Yeah, and they're very recent. Like they've been missing two, three weeks. You know, so be really you could cover, you could just scan all day on the river, and then if you get a hit, you just go and dive it and see what it is. Yeah. Which is, I mean, get mentally prepared. You know, like okay, the, he's right there. Be like, okay, so I'm gonna dive, and there's gonna be somebody. Right. Woo! Driftwood. Man, you better hit that wood. So yeah, we're out searching today. Let's see, we got 400 people. Man, you oh guys God, are you're awesome. You're popular. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 700 <laughs> thumbs down, what the heck? <laughs> I'm glad they stopped oh, showing man. that. What river are we in? I don't know, we're uh, near Charlotte though. I forgot the name of the, is it the- uh, I don't know the name of this river. I believe it's the Catawba River. Man, that's a big word. Catawba. Catawba. I'm pretty sure. We're near Charlotte. Yeah, we're outside of Charlotte's perimeter. They have a, they got a, like a freeway that circles it too, a bypass. If you keep looking around, you might miss something on your screen. Well, Jay, he's watching. No, it goes, it doesn't like fly by. It's like, I don't miss it that quick. Like I could look down and like, it's, it scrolls. So like, I'm not gonna, like, I look down and look up, talk, I look down, look up. Yeah. So, and I gotta watch because there's logs everywhere. I don't want to run over one. If we pop this boat and sink, it's game over for Jeremy. Well, listen, I've popped a boat. I popped two boats. Yeah, but you jumped. I was in one like, of them while it popped. Yeah, you like had to jump out, but you was right there. Right it here. is it is not fun. And I mean, I almost, if we sank here, I'd lose everything and we'd be like freezing to death swimming into the woods. I almost lost all of uh, the equipment, including Georgia River Boys sonar. 
which I don't know if you knew about. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. It did not fall in, thankfully, because I jumped out. <coughs> oh, we got Bird Dog. What's going on, man? I've heard of that guy. Yeah, I, one day, <laughs> Bird Dog, when I get up to Tennessee the right time, we're going to go explore that and now, do, he's the, do he's some the stuff. Dude up in right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Metal detecting yeah. explorer. Who do you have? He have beef with Is it Jared? Was it Britain? Beef. Get, who'd you have beef with? I heard there's beef. <laughs> I love hearing about the beef. Jeremy wants all the drama. Nah, I was curious. Adam, did you get your boat repaired? Um, it was actually Britain's boat <laughs> that I popped. But yes, Josh can too. Um, he's got a big orange patch. He's looks the like a band-aid. Yeah, he patched it. So if you see on Britain's channel, uh, Britain has a big like band-aid on the side. That's where the rip was. But luckily, Josh can too is the ones that like. He was one of the guys making the lift bag, so it's like the same material kind of, or, or stronger, so he, he uh, they've repaired lots of rips. And yeah, it's working good now. Luckily, I keep popping everyone else's boat, except mine, so. <laughs> I, I, now I'm not, I, I keep, I'm, I'm not gonna drive anyone else's boat except for mine. Okay. Unless it's an emergency or something. Now you just gotta get some gnarly sonar. And then you'll be good to go. I scan all day. Dude, what was the case where I was going to drive up on Friday while you was at work, sonar it, and then you and me was going to dive it? Like, we were so sure this spot had the car. Somewhere like five hour drive for me to north. There was a lake. I can't remember. I don't know. But I keep I keep thinking that. I was like, man, we got to go do that. I keep forgetting. It's one of those cases we keep talking about. I don't want to tell everybody. Still. Um. Zach, I still owe you a Texas adventure. Man, come on down, dude. Come on. Well, well, I don't know if we're going to be in Texas. Yeah, we, well. Texas is far. Texas is far. 12-hour drive. But there's a lot of cars in Texas. Well, it's, it's pretty big. It makes sense. Bird Dog says, bring the Nug. Bring the Nug. Hey, I got a, I got a metal detector. I'll find a butt. Did you hear about the uh, Antarctica Glacier calving? Caving? Break or, it, or this morning, massive yeah. break. You should see the video. Oh, I haven't checked that out yet. I'll have to, I'll have to look Does at that. Does that mean we're not gonna make it? Because the river's rising. How big of an iceberg? How it, big are we talking? <laughs> Size of Texas? It's something that like the water keeps coming That's in here. That's another movie. Waterworld. Kevin oh Costner. yeah, Waterworld's a good movie. What if? What if? But I, they already debunked that. Like if all the all the ice in the entire world melted, it still wouldn't be. There would still be land. It would, it would cover a lot more, but it wouldn't be like the entire planet was is covered, except for Everest. Yeah. And what if the ocean's riz, risen high Ro enough, rose, rose <laughs> to get to like just that top? Would it now be warmer on top of Everest because the sea level rose? Or would it still be really cold because the sea level, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't either. What happens if the sea levels rose, I don't know, 40,000 feet? Who knows, man? I wonder how was it was. <laughs> I bet there'd be a lot of animals on that one little island, though, that they made it. And then it'd be like a bloodbath. Everything is just. <laughs> uh, I was, I was, I was driving when I damaged Nug's boat. I was driving my car, my truck, because it was on the roof of my truck when it flew off. I was actually steering in Britain's boat when that popped. That hit a piece of coral. Jeremy's boat flew off the roof of my truck because I had a one strap on it. Weird spot. A rectangular frame. A rectangular frame? Back there. Let's go back over. Really? I don't think it's a vehicle, but it's it's I mean it's 20 feet long. Maybe it's an old boat. Maybe it's an old trailer, like a a, 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 a mobile home. Oh really? <laughs> I mean this is right in the middle of nowhere. Well, there Why? There might have been one here before. All right, let me uh let me show the peeps. Flip oh. for me. Oh. oh, we dropped your phone in the water. Would you be sad? Uh, I, I just got that. Could you though? I mean, it's six feet. I don't know if you get that. All right, so let me show you what I just seen. Let's see if we can pass over it again. A lot easier going the other way because the, the, the wakes were with us. There it is on the right side this time. It's just a rectangular frame of something could be a could be a sunken boat pontoon maybe could be a, a bus doubt it 
Could be a boat dock. What do you guys think it is? Definitely not a safe. It's 20 feet. Oh, there is a dirt road. Right there. Maybe somebody could have pushed something down. But... It, might be a, it, might be, it might be a car. I don't know. How long is it? 20 feet, at least. There's a clearing over here where it's an old road. That's like, if someone was going to hide a car, I'd probably do it there. See what the comments say. What do the people think it is? What do you guys think? Do you think it's a car? 20 feet long, it's not a car. 20, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a hollow square. It looks, if anything, it's a frame to something. That's a narrow road, though. Yeah. Whatever this is, is big. So, like, I would say boat. Like, some kind of, some kind of large boat. Like a barge? Trailer. Drop a magnet. Well, I bet you it's metal. They're dropping a magnet. They just tell us it's metal. Yeah, it's too big for, way too big for a safe. That'd be f safe. I was like, that's a big safe. It's probably. take that home and cut it open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I have a lot of people on here that came from uh, Instagram. Instagram, I posted, we, me and Jeremy found a safe that was locked in Augusta. And that video blew up, man. We, we did open it. We did open it on a live stream video. You got a lot of people who follow you now and really hate you. <laughs> a lot of people, well, I think, I think most people were cool. It's just the, the few people that were commenting like, oh, don't waste your time. It's empty. I'm like, okay, listen, it's about the adventure. It's about not knowing until you look inside. So I think we judge the majority <coughs> off the few people that comment. And we're like, oh, they don't like our videos, but not everybody that likes is commenting. So if you guys like our videos, I would really like to see, like to hear from y'all. Cause we're, uh, we're sensitive. Jeremy's so sensitive. Very sensitive. <laughs> I don't like it people hate on me. It's like, you're fake. Tractor, you're phony. tractor trailer. Kind of Cargo phony. container, maybe. Then the other question is how did it get here? How did it it's get woods. here? A lot of woods. A sailboat? Well, we found a sailboat yesterday. Looks like a steel frame. Looks like a car. Steel frame. I need to drink some water. If it's a, if it's a bus, the roof is rotted out. Like how would a bus get down here? Dude, we know. What we, well, we've been told we there is a sunken bus somewhere. We need to check out. I don't know how we would pull it out. A bus, though. A school bus. It could be a joint effort with a lot of airbags. I know they, like, where Chaos Divers dives, they have a sunken school bus that they put there. And he claims that with the, the right lift bags, they, they can move it. Or they did move it or something he was telling me about. What, did they, did they just put it there on purpose to dive at? Yeah, yeah, so you can to dive inside of it, yeah. Is that I want to find an airplane. Mermet Springs, I believe. Oh, Cat Toy Lady's on the chat. What's up? Hi, wife. So that is Jeremy's... Wife, we're finishing up this uh, finishing up this day with a live stream. One more video, and then we'll uh, come home. Yep, we're gonna. I think we're gonna make it home early today because we were we were planning to still be in Virginia today. Actually, we were we were gonna meet up with AWP. I think today or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. We oh. did hear from him, but we decided not to. Yeah, we're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. plans kind of change, which is fine, because um, we'll meet up with them again eventually. We'll see them someday. Someday. Well, you're gonna see them next week, right? Yonder. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, they'll be in Georgia, but I, just, I don't know. And I will be in what Salt Lake City, or you? I don't want to. I don't want to ride their coattails too much. <laughs> <laughs> audio is super quiet. Okay, yeah, I think the the audio is good at this view, right? Whenever I turn the camera around, for some reason, I have to yell. The audio is not good <laughs> the other way. It's really annoying. iPhones haven't it's fixed an that problem. Thing. It's not your phone. It's Every a brand iPhone new iPhone. So dumb. And I've been hunting for the best microphone to plug in. It doesn't work. None of them. Work. I don't know what the best microphone is. Yeah. That one that you bought. Remember that one? Yeah. It's all. It's too good. It's like you can hear birds breathing. <laughs> like man, this thing is like. Birds breathing. Yeah, you can hear like your heart beat in your hand, and I'm like, okay, too much. We'll find the right microphone that works eventually. Well, this the First Amendment auditor people. They got to seem to lock down when they go live. Like yeah, got, but we, we need, kinds of dude we need like, phones. wind-resistant <coughs> I want to go live with a 360, but it sucks. The word is it sucks up a lot of data. Like, we can go live right now with this. Oh, you could? But it'll be grainy and just, like, meh. You need, like, really good service. 
We need to wait till like they get like 8G service. You know, or 10G. Five ooh. Fiber optic, like 10, like fiber, fiber G. Fiber G? Fiber G service. Like they've made fiber optics wireless. <laughs> now we're talking. How's the the suitcase sonar working out catch one of these? It's good. I think the only thing we should do is we should attach a bungee cord to go to here and on the other side. Because it does, once we hit like rough waters, it'll tip over and it'll fall backwards. <laughs> so if we can just make a mobile way to clip it onto each side, it'll it'll hold it in place. And I'm gonna have to figure out a mount for the live scope, but it's never ending. I think I'm gonna go back to stationary and just have it down. Oh yeah. That way we can just drive over the top of something and see it. How long is a bus? That, how long it is, I don't know. Probably like 20 one. feet? I don't know. Well, don't know. no, because the Carolina Skip was 20 feet. I think a bus is longer than that. 30, well, like a, how how big is Jared's RV, 30? Probably 30 feet. I don't know. Oh, it's all the RV. I don't know. All right. I think a bus is a lot longer than 20 feet, I think you think about it. Oh, well, you were on the short bus, so yours. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's, that, that, you know what, that's not funny. <laughs> that's a disability. There's somebody stealing your trailer. Oh, God. Um, Made you look. Yeah, so we we have this bridge behind us to check, and then I think that's it for uh, for this area. Thanks for doing the live. Yeah, I appreciate. It. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, how you how how can other people help? Help out, Jeremy. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't want to sound greedy if, if you, <laughs> or selfish. Well, there's always like we don't, we don't want to ask for donations, but it, there's a I, lot I think they mean like how can they help? on their own. I guess you like research. Research. Yeah, I mean for if you want to help us, you can always do research and you know, East Coast or really more so in the East Coast. Can, yeah, we're on like the south we're on the east side. Like any cases where people are missing with their vehicles. Their vehicles have not been found yet. We really that found helps us out. Yes. There's always like new ones that aren't on the databases. Some of them are on like Facebook what did we groups. Yesterday. Yeah. So no one knew it. it's, it's it's not on it's not online. So yeah, there's cases out there that's not that we have never heard of. Like, yeah, if you hear something, send it to us. Yeah, yeah, and we'll try to look. I mean, sometimes they're really recent, and you know, we never know until we go. Is what I like to say. Never so, never know until we go. I want to make a, a T-shirt. You need, yeah, that's your, that's your T-shirt. I've been saying that for years. Like, you never know. You, you never know until you go. Really. Man, you're like you're like a poet. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. Man, you're like that's bam. It makes me feel like I want to be a better man. <laughs> Um, Dan, we still have like almost 500 people here. And they love hearing you talk. Or you, you sent me a picture of like an auditorium full of people. I thought I was like, to put in perspective what, what 500 people it's, look like in an It's auditorium. really cool, but kind of like, if you think about it, like all of y'all, 500 people, y'all are sitting in a room. You're like sitting on a boat right here next to us. That'd be like... That's like when you had like a school assembly and the whole class, or the whole school was like in the auditorium. Yeah. For a, that kind of size. That didn't make much sense. <laughs> well, I think well, people like all get, the seniors. yeah. But seriously, we couldn't do this without y'all. I, I definitely couldn't have quit my day job to become a full-time YouTuber without all of y'all's help. So really, thank y'all for all the support. Content, even you. Content. Honestly, I'm kind of on Facebook right now. <laughs> <laughs> the reels. The reels. Keeping it real. So. New shirt. <laughs> keeping it real. Yeah. I Man, think the swells are rising. I think we're gonna wrap up this live stream. It's been going on longer than I expected. But yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, I'm not quitting YouTube. I just quit my full-time job, and now I'm a full-time content creator, or whatever. I'm gonna be going out every week searching, uh, going out with Jeremy sometime, sometimes by myself. We're still gonna be doing the river treasure, finding things, because I really enjoy that. And it's kind of a, you know, Adam Brown adventures. It's not Adam Brown cold case searching. You know, we're not just doing that. Although, we're gonna focus on that, because that's most important. Well, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff, guys. So stay tuned for more adventures. I really appreciate all the love and support. I couldn't do it without y'all. Y'all are amazing, seriously. It feels like crazy to think that I quit my job. I can't believe you did it personally. Because this job, this doesn't feel like a job. It kind of feels like I retired and this is my, just a hobby and I'm doing it full time, which feels really weird and I'm super thankful. I mean, I, I've been waiting a long time to, to I w always wanted to be a full time YouTuber, but like, it's a big jump leaving a, a job, a good job with benefits. So you're stepping out into the new. I can new always norm. go get another job, go back and work a normal job, like if I need to. But I just kind of felt led, like this is the time to to go search. I think the future is online videos, anyways. Like I, th I think it is. Yeah. I mean, I was going online anyways. Do you I even have cable? 
I don't have cable now. I have Sling or some shit, right? <laughs> yeah, all the okay. streaming services. Yeah. He's like watching like Hulu and Zulu, you know, and all that. Like, I don't have a I don't have a cable plan anymore. I just watch Sling TV and then I watch Sling. Yeah. On Netflix. I wish they would combine all the streaming services in just one app. Because <laughs> I gotta pay like as much as cable to get all the streaming services. I need to get my videos on Netflix. See how you, um, how you do that? How do you upload to Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you gonna pay me for my videos? Maybe Netflix? Net, maybe Netflix will start like a, a YouTube platform. Yeah. Oh gosh! All right, we're under this last bridge, searching. <gasps> I'll I'll uh, I'll keep the live going for just a little bit longer in case Jeremy finds something around this bridge. <laughs> I want to go up and down here. We're going the same speed as the wakes. It's freaky. Yeah, it's a little choppy here, surprisingly. Middle, yeah. Super shallow on that side. Um. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. We're having an amazing day. We're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna find anything today, but we're gonna search this river and clear it. I think there's a few more spots we gotta check out, but I don't know. If anything, it's a nice day to get out on the, on the water. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in from work or, or lunch or, I don't even know what time it is. Is it lunch time? start Adam Brown fishing. <coughs> Adam Brown's fishing adventure. There may be a fishing channel in my future. Hey, figure. What are you fishing? Oh, that's right. Don't say my idea, but yeah, you know my idea. I can't say that idea. Some people be like, hey, that's it's a idea. really goofy idea. It wouldn't be serious at all. Goofy sells, that's, man. I don't know. People, I think people would like it. The, the problem is, I don't know how to identify fish very well. So I'd catch a fish and be like, hey, that's a fish. I like this fish. <laughs> Take this fish home. I love fishing. I just never do it. Well, I like fishing. I just don't know what fish I caught. I like fishing with an artificial lure, and you make, you make it dance, you make it wiggle, and then you get a bite, and you're like, oh! Dude, some lures are expensive, man. It's like, dang, you're just going to lose that thing. We're going to find it. I would just get the cheap ones from Walmart. And they're still like, the ones like this big are like five bucks, five, ten dollars, so it's still, it's still like, it adds up after a while. That's why you get on eBay or, or Facebook Marketplace. Oh, yeah. And, like, buy somebody's, like, stuff. Or just find a tackle box in the river. That, yeah, yeah. 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 We was pulling that car out of Nashville, and right next to one of the car that I was pulling out, uh, there's a tackle box. Really? And I picked it up while I was down here, <laughs> brought it out. I like, couldn't resist. I just want to look around. I was like, there's all kinds of stuff laying here. We need to start like giving. Oh, there's another bridge. I bet you there's guns down here. I'm Where sure. Where those yeah. cars were. I bet a pla great place to look for guns. Yeah. That's what we should do as a Nashville trip, just to die for guns. Nashville gun hunting. Well, in Nashville, with AWP. Yeah. Dude, I found a gold ring. While on a, on a car keys when I was down there, just eyeballing it. Yeah, everywhere. It's probably went to some one of those cars. <laughs> well, I found the keys and the, there was a gold wedding band on the car keys. And I was like, dang, this. So I didn't know it was gold until after. You have a wedding ring for your wedding. Oh, I already, I already got her ring. She doesn't need a band though. Oh, it was a girl ring. I thought you were talking about a band. Yeah, I think it was a, a girl ring. You didn't buy a set? No. Oh man. Is that cheaper? I don't know. I mean, it's personal preference. I don't know how these things work. As you can see, uh. Yeah, where is your ring, Jeremy? Lost in a river? Well, I lost my first one in a river, <laughs> and, uh, I, and then I went to silicone because it's just... They take a beating. They do. And then I, I lost that one down a sink, and I just haven't... Down I'm, a sink? Yeah, it finally fell off, and I was washing my hands. And just, Isn't like, this well, supposed to collect in the sink, and you can find it? It was down there, but we're talking oh. $5 silicone ring. Oh, the silicone one. Oh, yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. you can buy these in bulk. <laughs> I do want to get um, another one. I want to get the glows in the dark. Adam, will you be going with the new logo now? I don't know. I mean, I don't have any plans to. My logo has always just been me coming out of the water. I don't have like. Logo should be. Well, I have like a T-shirt logo, but it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some new T-shirts, new designs. But you should take your logo, go to Fiverr, and is it Fiverr? Fiverr. Fiverr. Yeah. Fiverr. Fiverr, and find somebody like, hey man, I want you to make this thing better. Same logo, but liven this baby up. Brighter colors, you know. Well, I, the problem with Fiverr is that you need, you really, you gotta pay a lot to get a good design, which I, I, uh. Sticker's good. Upside down car one. And well, how hard is it just to. I don't know, it just depends. But the problem also, like, I, I like doing, gra I do graphic design myself. Well, I guess you could do it yourself. But I kind of like other people's designs sometimes, but. Maybe you get a patch. I don't know. You wear your patch. And then you can dress up all tactical gear like I do. Yeah, I do want to get another hat with like a logo, a dive flag or something. I want to go full wiener. 
and like yeah like every time like when i start going out and like really getting into it like dress up in like full tactical gear you're you already know. doing that though well kind of i don't have my vest on today my like tactical vest but i want to get like a leg holster you know like make it look like i'm official and yeah. people like they'll assume i belong because i'm playing i look apart it's my costume i tricked them all right i'm losing my voice here Aww. i need to drink water but you guys have been amazing for 80 minutes. I didn't plan on going on a long live stream. Lies. But I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, oh. If we find something. Are oh, you cracking your voice? No, I'm just losing my voice. Oh no. I don't usually talk this much. Here's some lemon juice. I got some water. Uh, I will keep y'all updated if we find anything today. Yeah, we'll post a picture. <laughs> Make sure to follow Exploring with Nug. I don't know why, but if you want to follow, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, mean, I don't could, know why to follow him, but if you want, want to. to. If you want to see more of me, I'll be in his videos, so. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a, I'll have a video out Sunday. I was not able to edit a full regular one for today. That's why I'm doing this live stream. Also, once again, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm qu I just quit my full-time job to pursue YouTube full-time. Just to recap one more time. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all Sunday. Ooh, cracky voice. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> nope, that was it. I could talk all day. Oh, right, you can ah! talk. You can talk to him. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> all right, guys, you guys are amazing. Thanks for keeping it real. All the love and support. We'll see y'all on the next adventure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <my throat. laughs> Later, guys. Don't make fun of me. I'm sensitive. Sensitive. <laughs> Later, y'all.